Well, Kim Drysdale, the president of Berwick Rugby Club, is, is with me now, and obviously a very tough season ahead for, for the boys. Yeah, it's it's always a tough season, but yeah, this season um, we certainly intend to bounce back to the Premiership and hopefully go on from there. We'll just briefly go back to last season uh, before we actually go forward, and, and obviously everyone was gutted with the club, and, and anyone involved with Borders Rugby was gutted to see Berwick come out of the Premiership, but uh, I think everyone, um, without doubt, is looking at Berwick having a good season and hopefully getting right back up there again. Yeah, I think that's right. I think the, the, the club's lost... Um, two or three key players last year and and also the year before and with them I think we would have probably still been challenging in Premier 2 to be honest um, <clears throat> we only lost last year by one point we only got dropped by one point and yeah we, we were down about that but we, we've come down into National 1 before and yeah we'll come back again that's good to hear. Now, of course, the, the courage within the club and the players, the loyalty, everything about Berwick, a, a great history of the club, of course, as well, produced people like uh, Craig Smith and Gavin Kerr and many other people as well. So, you know, there's a great history to Berwick Rugby Club and Premiership is really where, where you belong. Yeah, well, uh, Berwick Rugby Club's been about um, bringing players through Berwick Rugby Club, right from the minis, as you said, Craig Smith and, and Gavin Kerr came through the minis at Berwick Rugby Club and there's many of them that have done that and... Yeah, it's about promoting that and we don't have anyone in from anywhere else. Yeah. And there's a lot of good, uh, good quality youngsters coming through. A lot of good quality youngsters, yeah, a lot playing uh, Northumberland rugby, a lot playing um, rugby in the borders and um, one or two for Scotland and England.